going live because all of Facebook, most of Facebook, the black women keep talking about Cardi B divorcing her husband because um, he cheated on her so many times. And they're so happy that she made this movement to leave her husband who has cheated on her so much. And that's very courageous of her. For one, that's one of the reasons why you black women today can't keep a man, nor find a husband, nor keep a husband. Because y'all mindset is so fucked up about the terms of a husband and what a wife is. For one, Cardi B is a ex-stripper, a whore. Uh, we all know what strippers do. Rather, she was selling her pussy or taking her clothes off. Either or, it's disgusting. And that is a whore. She was never going to find a good husband. That's why she got a husband like Offset. He's a clown. Any woman, she wouldn't even, I wouldn't, as a woman personally, I wouldn't even want to be seen walking in public with him. The way he looked, the way he dressed, the way he acted. I don't care how much money he has. He could be a trillionaire. If as a woman, if money motivates you for a man, then something wrong right there too. You should want a man who is, um, his where his mindset is right. I got all these women cussing me out on this post. That's why I went live. So hopefully they get on my page and hear me out. But um, an ex stripper, then a woman on top of that who's always naked, showing her body parts. What 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 would make a woman think that that's okay? I mean, we got so far off into the world that's 2020 that the now new okay is what God said that that bad would be considered good. That that good would be, would be considered evil. That all you black women, y'all so fucking embarrassing. Mo most of you, most of you, are so fucking embarrassing that y'all have this mindset. And y'all won't change it. Y'all won't even take the time out to think to change it. What nigga gonna be faithful to a stripper? To a whore? To a woman who's telling the whole world about her whack ass pussy? Who can't keep a nigga? Y'all don't even think about that kind of shit. What woman can keep a man... Who acts like Cardi B. She couldn't even keep that clown ass nigga. So come on. Y'all all promoting her divorce. Her husband divorce. For, for one ain't never good. If your no. husband cheat on you. You should practice forgiveness. But even if so. The most high do say. That you can divorce for fornication. That is okay to leave somebody. If they fornicate on you. They commit adultery. But a lot of you women. Are so big on leaving y'all man. So big on y'all got this mindset that the white man taught y'all that it's okay to leave your husband over the stupidest shit. I fight for my marriage to this day. We don't deal with any infidelity. But the things that we do get into it about, you know how many people tell us to divorce? That's how evil the world is. Over petty shit because we fighting or getting into it. Um, divorce. No, that's not no real marriage. It's not no real love. You don't, you don't. You, you you work stuff out. But then y'all have to understand, too, what kind of woman Cardi is. She was never wife material. Black women, y'all so fucking embarrassing the way y'all think. Y'all are so embarrassing the way y'all think. Y'all don't want to be wives. That's your whole purpose as a human. That's why y'all so fucking confused out here, depressed, all these different children, baby daddies, all this stuff. Because y'all don't know what y'all purpose is as a woman. Y'all were made to be a wife, to be under a man, to be a lady, to be a mother. Your purpose is not no fucking career, going to school, being a model, being all this dumbass worldly shit. It is to be a wife, a good one at that. That is our purpose as black women. Not talking to any other race, but my people. I'm so sick and tired of it. I'll, I'll go live and express my feelings. I don't give a damn. I'll express it because I have people who actually listen. Y'all are embarrassing. Change y'all mindset. Teach y'all daughters better. To think better than what y'all are saying now. Read. Just go back and read some of the shit y'all say. And think of it. What would God say? In the midst of y'all reading the shit y'all say. What would God say? Honestly. Y'all all, all y'all black women supporting the whore. It's fucking ridiculous. Her wop ain't keep no nigga. Did it. Y'all, I have. I went to go see my daughter, my little sister, singing. Um, yeah, I don't cook, I don't clean. Yeah, I got this ring, and she was proud saying it. Like, yeah, I can, I can grow up and don't gotta do none of that shit and get a husband. Not even seeing the significance in what she's saying as a ten-year-old little girl. 
That's embarrassing. Then you grown ass women walking around here singing the shit, playing the shit in y'all car, and literally taking the mindset of all these whores. Mulatto, Megan, half of them transgenders, uh, Nikki. Y'all think that having their mindset is tight or cool. Y'all bitches is whack. The way y'all think is whack. It's retarded. It's dumb. It's embarrassing. It's ignorant. It's stupid. Damn. Y'all don't sit back and think. It's stupid. L listen to the lyrics. I'll be sometimes, I listen to the music sometimes too. I listen to black music. But as I'm listening to it, I think about how stupid they sound. Like, damn. I, when I was real worldly, even though I like the beat, I groove to it. But as you listen to what they're saying, like, damn, that shit stupid. They y'all they sound like whores. All y'all role models are whores. Kim Kardashian, all and Lexus Sky, all y'all role models are whores. All you how all you women walk around here getting y'all lashes, wigs done, nails done, all this stuff y'all mimic is coming from whores. Y'all are not millionaires. None of y'all, I know all of y'all, Fort Wayne from Georgia. Air niggas, we are broke. We don't have millions of dollars. Even if we do got good money, we still ain't living like that. We can't take pictures every day in new outfits and shit with them women tricked and whored for. And y'all envy it. Y'all want to be like it. Y'all mimic it. Y'all teaching y'all daughters to be like it. The dance like it. Y'all, I'm going to fucking parties, uh, family reunions and shit and, and kid parties. And I hear big old freak playing in the background and fucking Nikki and, and WAP. And y'all recording y'all kids dancing with them like it's cute. And I'm like, dang God, thank you for pulling me from that shit. That I can actually see and open my eyes like, this shit is wrong. <laughs> Hell no, nah, my daughter can't listen to no goddamn WAP. Not around me. That's how y'all women should think. Y'all embarrassing. Check yourselves. Y'all sound ignorant. And I'm tired of it. Not tell any bitch this to her face. Because that's what y'all are. So no, Tupac was right. We can't get mad if they call us bitches. Because that's how y'all act. That's exactly how every single one of y'all act. I very rarely meet women like me. Very rarely. And when I do, I salute her. But black women, y'all embarrassing. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all mother. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all portray yourselves. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all act, period. And y'all get on these black men. Y'all talk about our, our black men so bad, too. But y'all play a huge part of that. It, at the end of the day, we can say all day, men cheat, niggas cheat, and do this and that. It take a bitch to open her legs at the end of the day for that man to cheat. It always falls on the woman, period. Because we have a certain way to be and to think. And every day I fight to be like that. I know my purpose. My purpose is to be a wife and to be a woman of God. That is my purpose. My whole desire belongs to my husband. Every day I wake up trying to figure out how to please him, how to love him. Even when we fight and he wrong, I'm, I'm fixing the shit. Because that's my destiny. That's what God put me on this earth to be, a mother and a wife. You black women are embarrassing. Y'all, that independent mindset, that that um, y'all pick welfare over men, y'all pick money over y'all men, and then men, y'all got to stand up too. Because it is both sides. In the Bible, when you go to Deut Deuteronomy 28 and we read all them curses, it's both sides. It ain't no one side. That's why I never agree with that Janae girl. Everybody be like, you know, she always uplift black men. For one, you shouldn't have to diss a black sister to uplift a black man. You should not have to diss your aunt. should not have to diss women to uplift a black man. Tell the truth. It's both sides. It Both sides. Man, y'all got to step up too and help black women be better. Because guess what? Let me tell y'all why is a lot of why black women are the way they are too. Because men, y'all not being the fathers. Look at the generation that's being brought up. Y'all are leaving these children with they mammies who ain't fucking right. We don't even know how to treat y'all right as a wife. So what make y'all men think we gonna do good to y'all kids 24-7? Why y'all think we raising up Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's? Because a lot of men, y'all leaving y'all daughters and sons... With these women, because y'all don't want to fight for rights and go to court or be there. Y'all want to keep on 
making kids, but not being there. So now we got to deal with this because a woman needs a head. That's why we are the way we are. That's why we think the way we think. We do need a head. We do need a man to come in and tell us what's right and how to be. Because if we don't, this is what we're going to continue to get. This generation. It ain't going to change. But it's nice to voice the truth because it's already written. No, it's not going to change. But it can start with somebody. One of us can start changing it. My home is going to be changed. I'm going to be what God want me to be. I couldn't teach my daughter it 100% because she was taken from me. Because of me trying to teach her the way of God. But with all God's might, what I left in that little girl going to stick in that little girl. And I'm tired of arguing with you bitches. That's what I'm going to call y'all. That's a black man. I, I agree with my SBK on that. Wonder why they call you bitch. I don't agree on y'all with y'all mindset. It's embarrassing. And y'all need to change it. It's embarrassing. Black women, y'all embarrassing. Y'all embarrassing. The way y'all think. I don't, especially the women in my city. All, them, all these girls be acting like they doing something. Trying to mimic the celebrities. And I know every single one of y'all live at. All in the hood. Most of y'all on section.